This is on a budget. This is for a budget friendly cost of living in China. Hello, beautiful. Hello, handsome. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if it's your first time here, it's going to be in the building. <laughs> I currently live in China, so I film about my life here and about my experiences as a black person in China. And since a lot of people watching me are interested in China, maybe you would like to come here for study or for work, or you would like to come for visit. In this video, I decided to share the cost of living in China, and I hope this is helpful to anybody who wants to come here. And I know you are clicking on this particular video because you want to know how much it costs to actually live in China. Most people say, oh, China is very cheap, everything you get is extremely cheap, but we'll find out how cheap or how expensive China is. Let's get started on this video so I'm actually a student living in China I have never lived in an apartment I don't work so I'm just going to be giving you my opinion based on what I am doing so maybe you can relate to what I am doing and make sure you stay to the end of this video if you want to know tips on how you can spend on a budget and you know reduce your spending the things I'm going to touch on in this video are accommodation utilities like Wi-Fi water gas electricity and I'm also going to touch on food like both grocery shopping and also eating out I'm also going to cover clothes transportation I've watched a lot of videos about cost of living in China but I never saw anybody mention insurance and visa. I don't know if it's because they are not students, but as students, you also need to pay insurance and visa. So I'm going to be telling you how much you need for this. So the first item on the list is accommodation. So there are different types of accommodation. You can stay in an apartment in an estate, or you can stay in the school dormitory, or maybe you are coming for visits, you could book an hotel. Yeah, so talking about accommodation like an apartment, this depends on whether it's one bedroom flat, two bedroom, if you're living by yourself, all those factors come into play. But like the range is about 800 to about 3000 RMB. And there are actually a lot of factors involved in this. This also depends on where you are staying. So I stay in Guiyan city. It is not a very developed city. It is not as expensive as Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen. If you want to stay in hotels, it's like the range is between 70 RMB to 300 RMB per night. It depends on if it's five star hotel if it's just a random hotel how good the hotel is so that's what you should budget for like i said I, i'm a student and i live in a school dormitory so my school has like the two bedroom and then the, we have the four people in a room yeah so i initially i was living in four people in a room and that cost um two thousand rmb per year not per month and now i live in two in a room and it costs four thousand rmb per month so it's like double the price yeah and we have ac in the room also then we have our own um, toilet we have our own bathroom but we have a shared kitchen those are the accommodation types that you can find there are different types but like these are the ones that I, i'm just focusing on in this video so the next item on the list is utilities like um, wi-fi water gas electricity yeah so for wi-fi initially um i used to pay 400 rmb per year but I don't know what happened. They just increased their price suddenly. And now the plan I used to have before doesn't exist again. So now I pay 70 RMB per month. So it's a package with my SIM. So I don't have to spend extra money to recharge my SIM. The, the money for my SIM card is also the same for my Wi-Fi. So the SIM card is... Um, 69 rmb let's just say 17 rmb per month so you also have unlimited data for that same month so if you don't recharge your um sim card you won't be able to get wi-fi so in a year you can you have to spend about 840 rmb which is quite much compared to the initial price but still quite relatively cheap because it's unlimited and you can do whatever you want to do with it yeah so i think data is quite cheap yeah what do you guys think let me know in the comment section do you think it's cheap do you think it's too expensive and actually i'm not going to be putting the conversions in dollars because it keeps changing but like the rates in rmb would be there like you can always convert if you want to know that particular rate yeah so for water some chinese actually like the boil water from the tap and drink yeah i have some chinese that does that but i don't trust chinese water so i buy like bottled water and it costs like 10 yuan per bottle i would 
insert a clip of how big the bottle looks like yeah so i think it usually lasts me about one week if i drink a lot of water sometimes i don't i used to but now i don't so in a month that's like 40 rmb yeah yuan and rmb is the same thing so you might hear me use it interchangeably and actually for gas and electricity i don't have a lot to say because i don't live in an apartment and we don't use gas we use like electric cooker and for the electricity in the dormitory we don't pay for electricity but if we overuse the free electricity that's been given to us then we have to pay in order to use more but most times we don't except maybe we have a, a we use a high voltage in our room then light goes off so we have to pay to make the electricity come back yeah so that's the only time we actually pay for electricity and the kitchen we cook in the general kitchen and the electricity is totally free so i don't pay for electricity but if you are living in an apartment it will depend on how much electricity you use maybe during the winter time it's more expensive because we are using heaters and if you cook a lot the gas is also going to be more expensive if you use giza those things are going to come into play but i can't say the exact amount because i've never lived in an apartment here now moving on to food <laughs> I think food is very cheap in China. People might have different opinions, but like I'm somebody that I don't spend a lot. I don't know. I don't spend a lot. I don't see the point to spend a lot because the money is not plenty yet. If you have plenty of money, then I'll start spending. <laughs> food, I spend uh, about 500 per month on grocery. That's the average. Some people spend more, some people spend less, but it depends on how much you want to spend. If you are eating out, say you're going to eat burger or pizza or even like local food, I personally don't eat a lot of <laughs> things like that. Like, I'm very conscious of what I put into my body. I don't know if it's because my mom is a dietitian, but if it's because, shout out to you, mom. <laughs> if you're somebody that wants to eat um, burger, like pizza, like food outside, maybe you don't like to cook, it's pretty, it's relatively cheap depending on the type you are buying. Like, there's not really a fixed price for something, like, it depends on what you are buying. On an average scale, like, burger could cost you as low as 30 yuan and could also cost you as high as 17 yuan, depending on where you are buying. Like, Burger King is quite expensive and if you're buying like in a park like with the chips with the coke with other things attached to it so yeah that would do then if you're buying pizza it's almost about the same rate 30 yuan to 70 yuan yeah depending on the size the things that are on it yeah i can't really say specifically i can like i cannot make a list of all the type of pizza and put the prices but you understand what i mean yeah but if you're eating like the local food they have different types of food in china like the variety is so much like now i don't know what i would do without chinese food when i leave because i'm so in love with chinese food yeah so the local food could cost as low as um seven yuan if you are buying like something like chow fan like that's just fried rice so maybe jidan chow fan that's egg fried rice to if you are buying hot pot you are buying barbecue fish like the price varies like there's this fish that costs like 100 rmb so like it depends on the type of food you are buying so between 7 to 100 rmb like that range you can see various types of food you can easily buy hello students are you ready for the word of the day who can tell me what the word is gonna be oh dockers you know yes teacher i think the word is gonna be money oh that's definitely right so the word of the day is money and in chinese you can simply say qian and if you want to use it in a sentence, you can say "wo yo qian," which means "I have money." Now go and make your teacher proud. I see you. The next thing is clothes. Actually, people believe that in China, clothes are very cheap. But the truth is that the way Chinese have done their market is like you can find what you need for every kind of person. Like no matter what amount you have, if you have. 2 RMB, you can get something that would be 2 RMB. I'm exaggerating anyway, but like, no matter the amount you have, you can actually find. You can buy one clothes for 10 RMB and buy it in another shop for 100 RMB. It looks the same, but the quality would be different. So like the prices are based on the quality of what you want to buy. So I can't really say that this is the fixed price for clothes. So if you want to buy something that won't last long, fine, go for the cheap one. But if you want something that is going to last for a longer time, you should go for the expensive one because it's going to serve you at the end of the day the next item on the list is transportation so in china we have different types of transportation we have the subway we have train we have buses we have taxis we have um, your own car yeah but like that's usually on the list of foreigners because 
people really buy cars foreigners i know of really have cars yeah and we also have flights we have slow train fast train so all these are the various types of transportation but the ones we use on a daily basis are like bus or like subway or bikes yeah taxis yeah so for subways the price ranges from about 2 rmb to 10 rmb depending on how far the distance is but i've not seen it really pass 10 rmb i've actually not seen it really pass 6 rmb in my city but like generally in other cities it could actually pass 10 rmb yeah and for bus the lowest i've seen is 1 yuan and the highest i've seen is 6 yuan so i would say from 1 to 6 yuan depending on the bus number because some buses have fewer stops so they, they are more expensive but the buses that have more stops are cheaper now for taxis taxis and didi didi is like uber so like taxis and didi usually work almost the same way but taxis are usually more expensive than didi so for example if you are going somewhere that cost um 70 rmb by taxi it would actually cost maybe around 50 rmb by didi so i prefer to use didi than taxi if i have to use any of the two yeah but like the price is like there's a fixed price for the beginning and it depends on the city you are and wherever you are in china so like the starting price is usually between from 10 RMB to 15 RMB so like it keeps increasing as you are going in my city the times I've taken DD like a distance of about 45 minutes I paid about 100 RMB so like that's the range yeah so if you're not going so far it won't be so expensive but if you are going further then it will be more expensive now moving on to bikes bikes are very cheap and very comfortable you just have to scan with your phone like with, there's an app we have in china it's called wechat so like you do a lot of things on that app so like you just have to basically scan and then pay and you can go so it usually ranges from about one yuan to five yuan depending on how far you actually go but like most times you don't even actually spend up to five yuan but you still have your change there the next one is like we have slow train and fast train so uh these two okay i'll just compare between both of them but i can't really say the prices but like slow train of course is cheaper than fast train but it takes you days i've taken a slow train for 48 hours before that was crazy but like fast train is like in hours in minutes you get there so like that's more expensive but also very fast so you choose according to your budget then also flight flights are actually cheaper compared to if you are going within cities in other countries but in china it's relatively cheap and i'll be giving you tips on how you can actually find cheaper flights so stay tuned to the end of this video to get that and the last thing i wanted to mention was insurance and visa so every year as a student you have to renew your insurance and also your visa so insurance costs um, 800 yuan per year initially it was 600 i don't know why they changed it to 800 but they know yeah so it's 800 per year and visa is like 400 per year so we renew our visa every single year so if your duration of study is six years you have to renew every year and i don't know how it works for people that are working or people that are here for other purposes but this is on the basis of student and now to the tips i told you i was going to tell you about i'm not going to go in any particular order but i'm just going to be saying on a general note so like you can just fit in which tip goes for which section i have mentioned basically if you want something cheaper for grocery shopping i usually buy in bulk so that way i tend to spend less compared to when I buy individual items. So at the beginning of the month, I buy whatever I need, like things like a milk or rice. So I don't have to worry about them because I use them all the time. Yeah, and it's definitely cheaper that way. And when I go for grocery shopping, I don't go to the big malls. I go to the local markets. There you can get things cheaper and at very affordable prices. And you can also get to like, um, they are usually fresh compared to when you have them in the supermarket the ones in the supermarket are also fresh but like the ones in the local market like the farmers themselves bring it to the market so it's still very fresh you get the varieties of veggies and fruits that you would need and even at that like some people sell cheaper than others so you just have to go around and compare the prices which one is cheap which one is more expensive some people don't have the time but please my money is more important time is also important but like money is also important you understand so i have to look for the cheapest one so we are working on student budgets 
I cannot come out broke. And like I said earlier, I don't eat out. And this is because most times I have food at home. I make sure to cook at home. So I don't have to think of eating out. Because when I don't have food at home, that's when I have to eat out. So I usually dedicate some days in the week to cook in bulk. So I can just eat during the week. And when the next week comes, I cook again. And I eat throughout the week. So I don't have to spend so much time in the kitchen. And I also don't have to spend so much money buying food outside. So that's how it works for me for eating. And also for things like fly. If you want to get a cheaper flight, you have to check in advance because the prices keep going up as the time comes near because more people are buying and they want to make more money out of it but if you book at least maybe one month before then you can be able to find the cheap ones and just keep checking the app we use WeChat to book our flight I use people use different apps too but I use WeChat to book my flight and it's very convenient it's very easy you can see the price differences and you can choose the best one for you and another thing is if you book very early in the morning like if you book the times very early in the morning they're usually cheap like um a normal flight could be about 1000 rmb but very early in the morning could be about 100 rmb like the difference is so clear <laughs> so like that's what i do sometimes if i know i have to travel somewhere and i don't have so much money i just try to book the early flight but it cost me time <laughs> like i have to sleep at the airport maybe so that i can be able to catch the flight because i also don't want to spend money for taxi <laughs> yeah this is on a budget this is for a budget friendly cost of living in china and when it comes to things like um clothes basically things you use at home i buy them online i think i buy every single thing online i buy on taobao taobao is like um a shopping app like amazon yeah you can buy whatever like I mean whatever whatever you can think of you can buy on Taobao <laughs> I'm gonna miss Taobao when I leave China I know I know I buy everything on Taobao my bed sheets my sponge my soap my lotion my clothes my shoes like basically everything in my room I think I bought on Taobao if you buy things online you tend to get them cheaper compared to when you go to stores but if you have the money please go to stores because you can actually wear the things if they are clothes things you need or you can see the things you need for yourself and you can get better value for your money because sometimes what you see online is not what you get so that's basically all if there's anything i did not touch on you can leave it down in the comment section and i would answer or if there's anything i missed or anything different you can just let me know in the comment section let's get the conversations rolling so i hope you learned one thing or two if you found this video useful or helpful please don't forget to like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and share this video to somebody who you think might need it thank you so much and i'll see you on the next one bye Mwah. And that's it. That's why I live in a double sitter room. Double sitter, double bed, <laughs> double bed, and make sure to.